Hi. Now that we worked some exercises with legs only and arms only, we're gonna put those together. We have four straps in the connector. We will be able to do full body workout with the reformer straps. In here, before Christine shows you to, uh, she's gonna get into four strap position, I wanna mention something. Usually we do leg work with one red and one blue. That's Christine's settings. Right here, the reason I wanna show you this, we're gonna use a little bit lighter springs because when she does the leg work, she presses down and she brings it up and presses down one more time. Right in here, I want you to kind of notice how far the carriage moves. There's about this much space before the carriage hits to the end. Now she's gonna go up again and she's gonna take the straps, gray straps in her hand. Now she has all four straps with the connector and she's gonna do exactly the same movements. She's gonna press her legs down and arms. And if you notice, the carriage moves farther. That means she's stretching the springs farther away and it's gonna be heavier. So if you're doing one red, one blue, I will suggest, you, you can still do it, it might feel like not too heavy, but it is feeling too heavy, I will suggest bring him down to one red, one yellow, or just one red. Saying that, we are ready to go. Uh, as I mentioned, we have four straps right now. Uh, our starting position is gonna be legs 45 degree, arms bent, and we're gonna do arms only. From here, triceps, and we're gonna extend your arms to straight position, and bend, beautiful. Now, as you notice, is, it is the same exercise, but it's really different exercise. Now the full body is involved. When, she's, when they are just moving their arms, not only they just moving the left arm, the movement of that arm creates action or reaction with the other straps. It's all connected to each other through one rope system. It's a full body workout and it's a full connection of the limbs externally, which creates deeper core activation. They're doing fantastic. If you guys seeing, I'm talking and I'm mentioning what connector can do for your workout and for your clients, but they are going in the same rhythm. They just did single arm, they did couple reps on the left, then they did it on the right, then they did alternating, and they're doing the reciprocal one, right? And this reciprocal, as you guys notice, the carriage is not moving again. Do you guys see how the feet is moving? They are struggling to stay there. She's doing, remember, she's doing a harder version. She's not touching together her legs, and Portia is touching her legs and keeping her legs angle a little bit higher. Fantastic, let's go to the next exercise. We're gonna do arm lowering, straight arms. We're gonna go up together and down. It's important, again, not just to start with single version or reciprocal or the alternating. You always want to go back, what is the base exercise? Go back to your repertoire. Choose the exercise that in your regular repertoire and decide why you're doing this exercise. Because sometimes it might get confusing, there's four straps. Is this a leg exercise? Is this an arm exercise? Since I'm moving only the arms right now, I'm going to go back to the my arm repertoire, I'm gonna choose to move them together up and down, then start to use my options by doing the single, alternating, or reciprocal. In here, again, I'm looking at her from every angle. I'm coming in here, is the legs helping her? Are they going laterally shifting right to left? Uh, I go from the side this way, how is her neutral spine or pelvic position? Is she in the safe position? Remember, this might look a little bit too low for you, but there's a sport from the straps. Actually, it's safe and it's a lot more organic movement pattern. They're all, your limbs are connected together. Now this is the reciprocal part. Once again, they're making it look very easy to not to move the carriage. Beautiful. Let's press both arms down. Let's do the T shape. Arms open to the T and close. Basic exercise, same in our repertoire. I'm making sure everything's okay. Saying that in here, in each exercise from uh, tricep to T pull, you can actually bend your knees. 
you can actually hold the legs in here. The legs doesn't have to be always same position. You can get creative by keeping them 45 degree or the next exercise you can bend them and hold them there. You can even get creative one leg straight 45 and one leg is bent. Each changes you make in your body is gonna give you a different feeling and you're gonna able to see if they're able to maintain the connection in their core and or their stabilization while they are moving. Beautiful. Should we do a reciprocal now? And open and hold. Let's start the reciprocal and change. And change. Here we go. This is a little bit more difficult because her angle is higher. Actually, the hamstrings has to react very quickly the pull of the arms. You guys see it, it's moving, it's fantastic. And last one, and come back in. Beautiful. Let's do bend knees, probably it will be a little bit easier. You guys been holding it there, let's do the arm circles. 45 degrees once again, we're gonna start perfect circles, and it's gonna go round, and two, and three. Let's reverse it, let's do down circles, and two, and three, beautiful. Let's do single arm right now. Yes, beautiful. It's very dynamic. One of the things you will immediately notice, I don't really have to cue them, engage your lats, keep your shoulders away, the sh uh, away from the shoulder rest. I don't have to say uh, press forward, engage your hamstring so it won't be, become a really hip flexor workout. It's very natural, the straps pulling their limbs towards their upper body. So immediately the body, the, even the clients knows, they feel that and they start to engage correct muscles to maintain their position. Beautiful. And where are we? I think we're gonna do, we are doing the alternating right now. And now we're gonna do reciprocal. Or first we're gonna do, we are doing alternating and we are doing the reverse circles. That's it. And the last set, reverse circles. I see the legs moving again. There's a lot of challenge going on in the core. Now, they're gonna do opposite direction. Did you guys notice? One arm goes up circle, the other one goes down circle, but they arrive in the same time. That's the only way they can keep the carriage steady. Christine, can you, can you show me to move the left arm faster? So go with the left and slow down. So do you see how the cart starts to move immediately? So the, the client is gonna notice that and it's gonna be self-correction for them. And don't tell them to stop and be very careful. Let them correct the movement in the next rep always. So continue moving and let them find the correct rhythm for themselves. Beautiful. And let's do one last time and stop. That was great. They made it look very easy. It's a nice challenging exercise. It's involved all four limbs, and even that we just moved the arms. Now what are we gonna do? This time we're gonna tell the arms to kind of rest because they're not gonna rest. They're gonna be still actively holding, uh, but they're gonna be the isometric hold, and we're gonna move the legs. And we're gonna do the leg loverings first, so let's do 45 degree legs in here, and let's hold the arms in the tricep position, elbows not touching, Beautiful, let's keep him a little bit forward, 90 degree, and stay there. From here, flex both feet up, and point down. Beautiful. Once again, flex up. Do you guys see it? They don't have to worry about losing the strap, so they're really using the dorsiflexion that involves, that stretches the calf or the hamstring muscles. And let's go up together, and go down, arms not moving. And now from here, single leg. And we're gonna do the left leg goes up and down and up. So the three limbs is not moving, they are actually creating the stability. Remember, stability creates mobility, right? So in here now, we are basically uh, asking all the limbs to be involved in the exercise. Even that they look like they're not moving, they are actually actively reacting the movement of the moving leg. Fantastic. And they are doing the alternating. You will see 
they are stopping before they move. It's really important to differentiate what is reciprocal, what is alternating. Right now they're doing reciprocal. They are maintaining their flexion, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the ankle. If the clients will have a hard time, you can basically just keep him the flex or you can keep him pointed. This is a reciprocal movement pattern once again. And how do I know it? The carriage is not moving. That's the only way you can keep the carriage steady using the straps on the reformer if you're doing a reciprocal work. That's beautiful. And relax. That's very nice, ladies. Come back in. Now let's go. We're going to do uh, open and close with your legs. And I'm going to ask you to do 90 degree again. And I'm going to ask you to do 45 degrees so we won't repeat it this time because we already showed them before. So let's keep it 45 degree. And in here, you guys are going to also clearly see changing the angles is going to change the way the carriage moves. From here, Christine is going to open and close. And Porsche is doing the same exercise. But before the, because of the angle of her leg is in 45, it's not perfectly 90, the carriage moves. Do you guys see it? When she opens her leg, the straps get shorter, which makes the carriage goes down and up, even that when she's doing a single leg. But with her, the strap doesn't get shorter or longer. It maintains the length. And because of it maintains the length, the carriage doesn't move. Good. And... They did the single, now they're going to do alternating. One leg opens, closes, stops, and the other one starts, comes back and stops. Opens, I'm looking at it if there's any shift on the pelvis. I'm looking at it if there's an external use of arms to the stabilizing. Are they working together evenly? Here we go. Now this is going to be the hardest one, reciprocal. This is a very difficult exercise. Especially with the angled version, Porsche is doing a great job. I'm looking at it if her hips moves the right to left. I'm looking if the arms really stabilizing evenly. The carriage doesn't move and that's enough. That's fantastic. Let's put the legs together and press down both 45 degrees. You're still reaching forward. Let's do now leg circles. And when we do the leg circles, let's keep the arms to T-shape. So this is going to involve lateral side of our body again. It's going to be very challenging. Let's start with the up circle, please. And up, open, and arrive. Up, open, and arrive. Here we go. If this is too difficult when you're holding the T-shape, you can even close it a little bit. That will actually help. The farther open it is, is harder for the muscular rise and also is the stabilization wise. It's gonna affect both. The closer your arm is, the stronger you're gonna feel and there's gonna be less pull laterally. Very nice. And they're doing the reverse. Down circle with the same leg. Beautiful, trying to not move the standing leg, really reach forward. I know it's so difficult. And let's go one. Other side, beautiful, fantastic breathing. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is working with the connector, immediately you'll start to notice the clients get to concentrate more. They need to automatically, they do center. They are precision. It's all the Joseph Pilates principles in a way. The breath flows a lot nicer. Uh, they do work whole body, the, the full body movement and uh, uh, balance body mass uh, the development. So all the Joseph Pilates principles in a way enforce using the connector. Beautiful. And they're doing the alternating down circles. Are we ready for the reciprocal one? I think we are ready. Let's do the reciprocal. So left one goes up circle, right one goes down circle, ladies, and go. And one. And two. Very good. And three, make sure the arm's not doing circle and hold. Let's reverse it. And arrive. Do you guys see the challenge? It's very difficult and they're doing an amazing job. Here we go. And breathe. Beautiful. Close your arms. Bend your knees. 
bend your elbows and breathe. Beautiful. So let's keep the arms with bent again. This is going to be the last exercise in this series. We're going to do knee bends. From here, bend both knees 90 degrees and exhale, push straight out and point at your feet. And bend in and point out. Once again, this is the choice of movement that I pick. You can do always pointed, you can do always flex, you can do point bend and flex extend. It's all your choice, you have options. And now do single leg and one. Beautiful, really reach forward, forward, forward. And two. And three. In here, if you want to give a little bit uh, extra challenge, one arm, the left arm can stay bent and the right arm can be straight out right here. That's going to create asymmetry in the body, so they're going to have to adjust to maintain the core stabilization. Now we're going to do alternating. They're doing a fantastic job. And they go, wait. Again, I want to mention alternating I love because there's a sense of that balance transferring your weight, how much you need how excessive you could do. We do usually, you know, over-exaggerate. We want to minimize that weight transfer and able to move any limb, any time. Now, this is the reciprocal. I love this one. The carriage is hovering. It's not moving. It's not bouncing. The, the coordination of the legs is perfect. The timing is perfect. They start same time. They finish same time. Let's do two more and relax. Extend both legs out and arms. Feel nice and long. Bend your knees and elbows and breathe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.